What is going on YouTube and welcome back to the daily vlog series that I'm doing. Shout out to my boy Casey Neistat. So let's jump right into it, shall we? Now let's talk about a pretty controversial topic. Like, I don't know, life insurance after the military. So I am on my way to a exam one center to go get insured by USAA. You probably heard of them. They have like car insurance, life insurance, and all that other stuff. Um, so a lot of service members, when they get out the military, they wonder what they're going to do about life insurance, which one is the best. And of course, the answer to that, just like anything in life, is it, it depends. It's going to depend on how much debt you don't want to pass down to your family when you die, your current medical conditions, all that can impact what's called the premium monthly and a bunch of other stuff. So here's a little bit of info on me about like zero debt, no family. I'm only going to be paying $15 a month for a $100,000 policy. Now for a student and somebody that doesn't own that many like assets or expensive things yet, that is good enough for me. I want to be conscious of my parents and all that other stuff. So I highly suggest you get some form of life insurance when you get out of the military. Now is USA is good. Um, I would say that it's adequate for somebody in my category, but other people might have other experiences. Now, I've heard things like the VGLI and other things like that, that the VA pitches you is, oh, is overpriced and you should look elsewhere. Now, let's head to the exam center and I have a few other things to talk about when it comes to the investment side of the house. All right, guys, so let's have an honest talk here. You're gonna hear this thing called IUL, Index Universal Life. And the thing about that is, is that when you get out of the military, there's going to be a lot of people trying to sell you life insurance as an investment saying it's like the best thing ever, financial freedom, all this other stuff. But here's the thing. There's a lot of in investments that you're already making that's going to yield more over time, like your TSP, ETF stocks, HSA, you name it. Just don't fall for it, right? Because these guys get a commission based on selling you guys stuff. So just be aware of that, okay? So applying for life insurance is pretty straightforward. You fill out an application and then you go to a medical examination to make sure that you didn't BS on the health questionnaire. So, so let's go do it. Okay guys, so we are here and uh, yeah, I'm a little bit late because for those of you that don't know, Houston, Texas is one of the largest emerging cities in America. So the traffic here gets a little bit hectic. That just shows that I'm willing to take this traffic for you guys to make videos. So you should subscribe to me, definitely. And boom guys, we're back in the elevator. And uh, yeah, they just did a little physical, took a little blood, peed in a cup, and that is that. And guys, so final verdict on USA, as I said before, it is good for somebody that is a single person with not a lot of assets or liabilities. Just be mindful of your family situation. Um, of course, you could probably also go shop for better ones. Just don't go for the ones right off the VA. And remember, there are also a lot better in investments than the IUL or Index Universal Life Insurance that's gonna get pitched to you. So guys, with that being said, Thank you for tuning in and make sure you keep watching the daily vlog series. Have a good one.